In this lecture, we'll continue to talk about the analysis of large graphs. And in particular, we'll talk about some extension of page rank, including topic specific page rank and trust rank. Now let's start with topic specific page rank or personalized page rank. Remember that in the regional or standard page rank, it essentially just measures the generic popularity irrelevant of the topic of each web pages. But instead of generic popularity, can we measure the popularity within the topic? So basically the goal of topic specific page rank is to evaluate the web pages, not just according to their popularity, but also by how close they are to a particular topic, for example, sports or history. And this will allow the search query to be answered based on the interest of the user. Therefore, sometimes we also call it topic specific page rank, personalized page rank. And an example would be, let's say that a user query, a user query would children. And this query may want different pages depending on whether the user is interested in sports or history or computer security, right? So, and to do this, we actually only need to make a very small modification to the original page rank algorithm. And remember that in, in that algorithm, the random walker actually has a very small probability of teleporting at any step, right? And in the standard page rank, the teleport can go to any page with equal probability. And as you have, may have remembered that this is just to uh, avoid that end and the spider trap problem. Now in the topic specific page rank, we'll do something slightly different. And in here, the teleport can actually go to a topic specific set of relevant pages. And we call this a teleport set. And so basically the idea is to bias the random walk, right? When a walker teleports, this topic specific page rank will make, make a pick a page from a teleport set S. And this set S can contain only pages that are relevant to the specific topic. For example, this set S can be can be from the open directory pages for a given topic. Let's, let's say that it can be uh, a set of all the web pages from, from the directory arts, or it can be the set of all the web pages from the directory business. So to make this work, all we need is just to modify the teleportation part of the page rate formulation. So remember that in our in our tail iteration method, we will actually calculate the new stochastic matrix A using a sum of two terms, right? And in this new version, it's, it's actually very similar. Let's say that we want to calculate AIJ. And so basically this is the probability of the walker moving from node J to node I, right? And it will help if, if this I happens to be in the teleport set, so it's like, um, topic topic relevant, then the AIJ will have two terms. The first term is the same as usual. It's beta times M, which is the uh, M is the old stochastic matrix. And the second term will be one minus beta over the size of S. So this is this is basically to allocate the, the overall weight of one minus beta equally to each web page in the teleport set. And if I here is actually not in the teleport set, then we will have only one term. So remember, this is different from the standard page rank where we actually assign, assign an equal weight, not equal score to every node, right? It's like a my, uh, one minus beta times one over n, where n is the number of total, total web pages. So the good thing about this new formulation is that after even after computing this, A is still stochastic. So everything still works with the power iteration method. And remember that here we actually weighted all the pages in the teleport set as equally, right? But you can, you can actually 
do choose whatever weight you want. You can also assign the different weights to to different pages in the set. It also works as long as it add up add up to to be one minus beta. And implementation wise, it's actually the same as computing the regular or standard page rank. Well, first multiply um, the the page rank vector v by the original matrix M, and then we add the vector here. And this is to maintain the sparseness. Now let's look at an example. Let's say that we have a graph of four nodes, one, two, three, four. And this is the regional stochastic matrix. We can see that they all, uh, they all add up to one. And let's suppose that we have a total set of, um, of node one. It contains only one node and the beta is 0 0.8. Now with this, the new stochastic matrix will look something like this. And since node one is actually in a teleport set, we have a probability of 0 0.2 to teleport from any other nodes, for any node actually, for any node including one, to, to node one at any step. And given this, we can then use the old power iteration method to to compute the page rank vector, right? We can initialize the score of every node to be 0 0.25 and we run the power iteration method. And, and, and when the results get stable, this is the, this is the score for all, the, all these four nodes. You can see that this node one actually has the relatively high score, which is very intuitive. And in fact, in fact, let's say that we fix the beta to be 0 0.8 and then we change the, uh, teleport set from one two three four to one two three to one two and and all the way to one. We can see that the final score for node one it actually keeps getting larger and larger. And this is this is also very intuitive because the the smaller this teleport set is, the more the more score the more score will be um, allocated to the node A by teleportation. And similarly, let's say that we fix the teleport set to be, uh, to be only node one, and we change the beta from 0 0.9 to 0 0.8 to 0 0.7. You can see that the score for the node one, it also keeps getting larger and larger. And this is also intuitive because when beta gets smaller, you have you will actually have a larger weight of teleportation. And since they all teleport to, to node one, then the final score for node one will get larger and larger. 